Cam Newton dabbed his way to the NFL MVP and to the Super Bowl, but couldn't get past Vaughn Miller and the Broncos defense, and that meant Peyton Manning reclaimed his spot as the favorite Manning brother when he rode off to the sunset winning the second Super Bowl. For Cam Newton, he never smiled again. Triple H won the Royal Rumble, becoming the WWE Champion, only to lose it to Roman Reigns in front of 100,000 plus fans. Yes, they still booed him. Villanova became national champions when Chris Jenkins hit the game winner. While Steph Curry set the record for most threes in the season, his Warriors set the record for most wins with 73. But 73 don't mean a thing without a ring, and it was LeBron James who ended the Cleveland curse, leading the Cavs to their first ever NBA title. And in that same night, Seth Rollins defeated Roman Reigns to win his second WWE championship, only for Dean Ambrose to cash in and win his first making all three members of the Shield WWE Champion in one night. Months later, we saw another curse in as the Chicago Cubs erased a 3-1 deficit winning their first World Series since 1908. Also in 2016, WWE saw a brand split. AJ Styles finally goes to the WWE, becomes the face that runs the place on SmackDown, while Kevin Owens changed Raw into the Kevin Owens show. New NFL season meant new NFL blood. For the Cowboys fans, it was the same thing. Tony Romo goes to the sideline due to injury, but he's replaced by rookie quarterback Dak Prescott. Dak and another rookie, Ezekiel Elliott, changed the game in Dallas, and suddenly, them boys are a Super Bowl contender. Women's wrestling is at an all-time high. In TNA, Jade flew from the heavens in her title match, which was in a cage against Rosemary, only to fall short of winning the title. On Raw, Sasha Banks and Charlotte play hot potato with the belt, while on SmackDown, Becky Lynch dominated until Alexa Bliss knocked her through a table and took the title. So much more has happened in 2016, but that's 2016 in under two minutes.